Welcome to the shop. Today, talking glues, talking adhesives, how to put these planes back together after they've been destroyed. Whether it's a nose cone or you split the thing in half, we're gluing it all back together. What's the best glue? I didn't know. I, I'm a big fan of foam tack, but I also use a little E6000. Um, I don't know if those were the best. So I decided to do a test on it. So what I did was took the foam from my expired P51, ripped some pieces apart, glued those pieces together, did some tests. But I also wanted to test, be a little bit more, not scientific, none of this is gonna be scientific. It's gonna be more opinion based. But what I did was then glued foam to wood and foam to plastic with the glues. Maybe there might be one that's better for foam to foam, but another one's gonna be much better for foam to plastic. These are just tools that we have in our kit to repair our planes. I've also done some things to prep you know, the surface areas, right? Wipe it off with alcohol, uh, poke some holes in it, rough up some surfaces. So to try to get the best I can out of this. The other thing is some of these require 48 hours to cure. So I've done all of that. And what I'm gonna do at the end, which you're now probably fast forwarding to, is kind of a summary and some opinions on what I think. Hope you stick around for some of the details and some of the me breaking things apart. Um, it's it's going to be a fun experiment, and I think we'll all learn something. Stick around. Thanks. All right. Everything has had at least 24 hours to dry. Not a very technical test. I'm going to try to break, see what happens when I snap things at, at the uh, where the break was. Kind of go from that direction and just kind of pull that out. And this is the epoxy. Seems to hold okay. Let's see what this one does. It kind of broke somewhere along the line. Obviously, it's weaker, but part of it pulled. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with the E6000. Pull that and see where it breaks. It's not, boy, it's uh, more flexible. It's, uh, it's not actually breaking at the seam. It's breaking somewhere else. Uh, part of it's broke at the seam, but this over here isn't the seam. The seam went this way. So the goop is, okay. I mean, E6000 did pretty good. Here's the CA, seams right here. And it's breaking exactly alongside the seam. Goop. Goop had one break here, and it's really flexible, but it's kind of breaking along the seam. And then I had another one right here. And kind of, yeah, it kind of broke along the seam a little bit. You who pour. The you who pour. I think that's the seam right there. And you can see it kind of comes off. There it is right there. It's been 24 hours. Hot glue. Hot glue. Boy, that's pretty good. Yeah, that broke. I broke new foam. Hot glue. That's that's new foam. That's not hot glue. Okay, pretty good. And my favorite foam tack, which breaks right along the seam. <laughs> that's foam tack. Huh. From that very technical test, um, <clears throat> I would say, you know. E6000 and hot glue did pretty good. Um, those two, that surprised me. I kind of thought the Yuhu Pour and my favorite, um, my favorite being uh, Phone Tech would have done a better job. I, not a very technical test, right? I'm just snapping this stuff. Now, would all of this hold great? Maybe 48 hours or whatever. I mean, some of these, I mean, this is still tacky as I'm <laughs> pushing it back together. It's tacky again. Uh, where is this? On the foam tack. 
and that's funny it's still pretty tacky so maybe letting this stuff cure longer would help but I will say that the E6000 man that that worked really well the hot glue worked well my problem with the hot glue was it's really hard to put on just a little bit it oozes everywhere and gets makes everything into a mess so if you're doing like precision stuff that you don't want to mess up this back side so far I'm thinking E6000 to winner but I'm going to do some more tests with these guys do a little bit more might even let them dry for 24 hours or 48 hours that's probably what I'm going to end up doing on these guys let's see what happens here's a two-part test one is after 48 hours well out more than 48 hours how well do the glues work on the foam to foam smaller chunks of foam and then also the plastic, a little chunk from the P51. So I wanted to use E-Flight type of plastics just to see what it would do. So I'm pulling more stuff apart and kind of narrating what I'm seeing so you can kind of get a first-hand uh, impression of it. Time to rake more foam. All right, we have hot glue. Just a little example here, and I'm just going to kind of put some pressure on, on it to see I'm putting a lot of pressure on it and I'm really trying to break at that joint and it's not breaking at that joint at all you can see where it broke the foam joints right here pretty good let's see how well that plastic adhered to it Ooh, it came right up now hmm there is some paint on there that could have something to do with it but it sticks to the plastic very well. It just didn't do a good job of getting adhered to the uh, foam. All right, that was hot glue. You who pour. All right, I'm gonna try to break that, and it's breaking kind of along the seam, but not. It's kind of getting new foam. Yeah, it's it's kind of breaking along the seam. A little more flexible, but it definitely broke off all right let's that peeled right off pretty easily again though i think it's peeling off the layer of of foam maybe not the best test <clears throat> gorilla glue clear well that popped right off that's interesting that didn't adhere at all the gorilla glue didn't adhere the plastic and the foam not very good at all I even have little pokey holes in there and cleaned it. But, all right, let's see. That might, that's kind of on that joint it broke. Hmm, surprising. I've used it a couple times. CA, let's see what CA does. No, well, it's not breaking at the joint. The joint's right there, so it pretty good. But as I'm poking at it, it's doing it. But, of course, it is. Let's see how well... That didn't adhere very well to the foam either, from that perspective. Goop. Right there in the middle. Try to break it apart. It's kind of, but it actually looks like it broke on. That's foam. A little close to the joint, almost on the joint, but not quite. Let's pull on that plastic, and it just kind of peeled up a slight layer. It didn't really adhere as well as I was hoping. Foam tack, all reliable. Pretty good, but kind of on that seam. But that also does look like it's new foam. So maybe not exactly, maybe a layer. And here, peeled right off. That was easy. E6000, the winner of the first foam ripping test. Wow. Wow, yeah, that ain't coming apart at all. Crap, no, that didn't come apart at all. See what happens with the plastic piece. Pretty good, much better. E6000, excellent. And five, uh, 15 minute epoxy. Yeah, that was brittle, popped right in half. Let's see about the plastic, popped right off. Okay, that task done. E6000, I would say, would be the ideal tool for me for both the 
foam and plastic. So, all right, wood to foam. Same procedure. Cleaned off the foam, poked little holes in it, a uh, little sandpaper on the wood. Uh, did the standard test. Did, these all were applied you know, over 48 hours ago. So you'll see the best, uh, best potential results that you can. All right, now we have the chunks of wood glued on. Now again, I, I prepped this, I prepped the foam, alcohol, poked little holes in it, hit uh, the back side of the wood with a little CA, or I'm sorry, not a little CA, uh, the back side with a, a little sandpaper. I'm just gonna put some pressure on this to see what happens. I didn't put a lot of pressure on it, it popped right off. Gorilla glue. A little bit more pressure, but again, it didn't really adhere to the foam very well. 15 minute epoxy. Pretty good, actually. That's holding on much better than I thought. But again, it's not, you can even see where it poked, went, you know, basically in the holes I poked. You can see the little strings there. And then hot glue. Wow, that, that probably the strongest. Out of those four, the hot glue was the strongest. Now let's go this side here, There's these guys, and we've got goop, which has been pretty good. And not a lot of force. It didn't seem to really stick in there very well. Foam tack, my favorite. Eh, about the same as the goop, and, and it didn't pull any foam. It just didn't glue on there very well. You who pour. Oh, that's pretty good. And it peeled up foam, so it broke that foam. So you who pour wood to foam did better than I think the uh, than the foam tack. And then here's the all-time favorite of so far, E6000. Let's see how well it works. Wow, I'm pulling down pretty hard, and it's yanking up a lot of foam. <clears throat> so, I folks, I you know I'm going to put together my summary. But after that test, I mean, you know, some of them work better than others, and I think a really good judge of what's going on is how much, how much foam was still attached to this backside that it ripped up. And some of them have none, and some have a little. So that's kind of a good telltale of how well it adhered to all of that. Um, I'm going to put together a summary, and uh, we'll go from there. I want to run another test. And this test is, you're at the field, your plane broke, and you still want to fly. You're charging a battery, and in 30 minutes, how well do these glues work? And I only tested a couple of them. Some of them that kind of did okay, and uh, that I knew would adhere, or could adhere well enough in 30 minutes. So, goop. Let's see how well she did. There's the seam, and it came apart pretty quick. If that was a little tail section, maybe it would be fine. Something serious, a nose cone, probably fine. Foam tack, which I have actually used in the field a ton to do this very thing. Boy, that just pulled apart like nothing. 30 minutes, and it's still really stringy. Interesting. Hot glue. I bet hot glue wins this championship. This, this dries instantly. Yeah, hot glue is by far, if you can get hot glue in the field, <laughs> you'll be set. Problem with hot glue is ton of it just oozes everywhere. I mean, I even put a pretty small bead and it's just not, man, it, it glues foam to foam really well. E6000 in only 30 minutes. This, so here's interesting. This is real squishy all through here, where I think the E6000 is melting, is melting that foam, right? So you can see, I push on it, and it's, so I don't think it's going to adhere. Well, actually, pretty good. Much better than the goop and the foam tack, but it's still not, man, it stinks like heck, too. Uh, it was basically kind of melting everything. I think it needs more time. For sure, quick winner. I mean, CA might do well too. I didn't test it, but CA might be that quick fix. I have used foam tack though, and it works. 
but just kind of throw out another test for you guys. Let me summarize. But before I do that, hey, if you have a question, leave a comment. If you like what I'm doing, like, subscribe, all that cool stuff makes me feel good about doing these videos for sure. Anyway, so moving on here. So my thoughts, E6000, I, I have it. I've used it. Uh, it worked exceptionally well in most applications. Another thing that I didn't show here, but I do use a, a, a syringe, a certain type of syringe. Here's a picture of it. And I can then take that E6000 and some of these other adhesives and stick them into very precise places uh, to fill cavities and things like that. Anyway, good application. E6000 is going to be my go-to for repairing airplanes. You who pour, maybe I didn't do something right. Um, a lot of people use it. I just felt that, boy, even after 48 hours, it still had some tackiness to it. It still didn't work like I thought it would. CA, a lot of people use it for foam. I'm not a big fan of it. It's brittle, and I just don't think it adheres as well as some of the other options. Foam tack was my go-to for a long time. I think I'll, I'll still keep it for the field for quick things like a nose cone or you know some chunk of foam rips off. It works okay, and it'll be fine for that. Goop, um, it's, it's really thick. So it doesn't smear out very well. You got to really work it a little bit to get it to all the little nooks and crannies when you're repairing, but it does okay. Hot glue, I was surprised about it. I've used it a lot for foam, uh, for flight test planes for the Dollar Tree foam board. Never use it foam to foam for the most part. Uh, was surprised at how well it worked, but it's really messy. Just a little bit oozes all over the place. And if you're trying to do something that makes the plane look really great, on repairs then I'm not probably going to use that and it dries super fast so you better be really good on your alignment uh, but boy it, it worked a lot better than I thought it did Gorilla Glue I've used it a bunch I haven't used it much anymore because I just found uh, better glues for it it's okay 15 minute epoxy I, yeah, maybe it's good for wood to wood and such I know it is uh, but wood foam plastic it, it just didn't do it I'm not going to use it um, I'll use it for certain applications but not much hope you enjoyed hope you learned something uh, thanks a lot have a great day